Hey guys, this is Varun and welcome to the first tutorial of the Apple Script series. Now in today's tutorial, well, I should first introduce the series. So what I'm going to be trying to achieve in this series is just to be comfortable with some of the advanced techniques. And I'm assuming that you guys already know the basics because this will be a slightly advanced Apple Script uh, series. Now we're going to be creating very cool things here and this first tutorial is going to be very exciting. Because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be actually be creating a login application. So you can work with anything. You have Facebook or you have Google Plus or YouTube, whatever you want. And you want to log in, uh, you can go ahead and do that with this handy application. So what we're trying to achieve is that the text inputted by a user into a display dialog, whatever text is inputted, we're going to be using a keystroke. So it will repeat that text into a text field in the website. So the username and password blanks in, for example, Facebook. Whatever you type in a dialog box will be put in uh, into the text fields. And um, we also need to add in some delays. I'll get into this uh, as we actually go ahead and program this. Um, but again, AppleScript is very, very easy. Um, it's the closest programming language to actual English. So I'm sure you guys will get the hang of it. And if you have any questions or tutorial requests, you can go ahead and shoot those down in the comments. So let's get it started, shall we? First of all, I'm going to go ahead and open up AppleScript as I have right here. And actually, I'll just go ahead and show you what we're going to create. So this is the application. Google Accounts Login. Go ahead and open it up. And as you can see, a nice dialog box. It, when prompted, it'll ask you to enter your email. So we'll do that real quick here. Next, and enter your password, of course. When you type in your password, it will come in actual words. So just make sure no one around you is watching or also know your password. I'm just going to blur this out real quick here. And once you're done with that, go ahead and click on Login. And it will take you to the Google site. And it will have a delay of 5 seconds. Then enter details and automatically enter you to your account. You don't have to do anything. Just wait for it. And yeah, this is pretty handy. So let's go ahead and program this baby. Go ahead and open up Apple Script. And I'll just make the window much bigger here. Okay, so first of all, we need to declare our variables, and we can quickly do this here. So, actually, yeah, we'll just type in set. We can say, uh, let's say, the email. And we can type in two. Now, we have to get the text input, so we have to type in text returned. And we have to type in off, and this is where the display dialog box comes in. So we put a brackets here and type in display dialog. And as you can, you can actually go ahead and right click and go to dialog. It automatically created for you. But we're just going to type it from scratch here. I think it's much easier that way. Now go ahead and hit spacebar in quotation marks. We're going to be uh, putting the title, not really the title, but the question. So as I said in the actual application here, it said enter your email. So we'll just type that in. Enter your email. Let's just type that in here. Put a speech mark to close that out. And you'll, you can also put in spacebar with title. So it can be the title of the dialog box. And we can just put it to the theme of whatever you want. So we'll put this as the Google, uh, Google sign-in. Of course, you can do it as Facebook. I'll show you how you can change that. But Google sign-in. Let's just put that that way. And close that out with the speech marks. And we also need to put a default answer. And this is this doesn't really matter, but it has to be there. So we can say default answer. And we can actually leave it blank. Just put two quotation marks. And then put buttons. Because we need to have buttons. We need to click on cancel or next if the user wants to cancel out the program. Or if the user actually wants to proceed and type in their password. Which we're going to type in real quick here. So we have to put these brackets right over here. And you can put in two options cancel the user wants to exit the program and we put a comma space next or proceed or whatever you want we'll just put proceed and close that speech mark and brackets and what we need to do is we have to also type in default button 2 because we're actually putting two buttons in there and go ahead and close down the brackets. Now, we have to declare the second 
item. So in this case, it's the password. Just put in set. Um, let's put it as my password. And we put it to. Again, the text input it. So we just we can actually copy this part. So we just copy all this. And we just change it according to here. So we can just type in enter your password. And with title, the same, it should be the same. And default answer blank, buttons cancel, and proceed. Or actually, we can change this because proceed is basically to go to the next phase. But we're not going to the next phase because from here, it'll direct us to the website. So we can just put in log in or sign in or whatever. And once that's done, we're going to be going ahead and doing the meat of this code. So I'm going to go ahead and type in tell application in quotation marks Safari and hit enter and activate or you can say open and once once Safari is open we have to actually give it a location to open so since this is Google um, let's put it as the uh, URL so open location and we can go ahead to the Google website if we want to I'll just sign out here. Now, this is the URL we have to copy. Command C and open location. And you have to put in speech marks and then paste it and close the speech mark as well. I added these two speech marks right here. Now, once that's done, go ahead and hit enter. And we actually have to tell an application. system events and hit enter now what should happen is that once the actual URL or the web page opens um, we cannot have it immediately uh, typed in because it wouldn't work that way because it should load and we should actually give it some waiting time so we, sh we should put delay and the number of seconds you want it to delay so I put it as five it doesn't really matter just make sure it's three seconds or above the minimum should be three so just keep that in mind I'll just put it as uh, five just to be on the safe side and once that's done this is the main part go ahead and hit enter keystroke and keystroke basically repeats whatever is typed in for uh, the ver the variable so for example keystroke the email so what that does, if we just type in keystroke the email, what that does is that whatever text was inputted in this the email variable, so what we did was we put the default answer, whatever answer is given, whatever text returned is given in that section will be put into the text the um, text field in the website. So keystroke the email will basically copy whatever you typed in uh, for the email part. And after that, we have to go ahead and keystroke again and what you normally do so if we go ahead and open up Safari here what you normally do after you type in your email is you hit tab so we should also type in keystroke tab and once that's done go ahead and hit keystroke again enter keystroke and we also should declare the my password variable my password now once this hit once you once you actually type in the password you also have to delay it and this can be just one second it doesn't really matter just one second now from there what you do is you actually have to sign in but we can't have anything to click and sign in so what we do is we type in keystroke and we type in return because return is basically enter in our keyboard and we hit enter and it logs in now from there we're pretty much done with this and tell and since there are two tells, we told application Safari, and we also told application system events, we have to end tell once more. Go ahead and click compile, and hopefully you should not give any errors. And I will have the source code in the description in a separate file. And once that's done, we are pretty much done with this. Go ahead and click on run, and it does work fine. Okay, you can go ahead and try this out. So if I type in my email, And I can't give you my password. <laughs> Click on login and just look what happens. 
automatically it enters our email and password in the correct text fields and enters us into our email account. Now that is just great and I'll just show you guys how you can do it with different accounts as well. I'll just go ahead and sign out. Now as you can see it opened the location of gmail.com. Let's say you want to open it in uh, let's say you want to open it in Facebook. Let's go ahead and open up Facebook. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and copy that URL here and just paste it in the same location. Uh, just replace the Google URL with the Facebook URL. Click on compile and just run it and it just works the same. And you can pretty much do it with any site you want to log in it with. Uh, just make sure that the delay are, is really important. And just make sure that you have it minimum of three seconds or else it would put it into the wrong place. And delay just make sure that you put it into the right text field basically. But this is how you actually create the login application. Let's go ahead and file save as. I will put it as login or whatever you want and just save it as a application. And if we look into our desktop, there it is. And I hope you guys enjoyed this Apple Script tutorial, the first of my series. The next tutorial, we're going to be looking at compiling Apple Script projects in Terminal. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the first tutorial. I hope to see you for the next episode. Cheers.